Well, how does this film rank among Indian cinema from this channel? Well, it's not as good as Triple R. But is it better than Roddy Sham? Let's see. Hi, everyone. It's me, Grant, the movie and TV guy. We're going to raise some popcorn with Grant. Um, I already did this intro, and then my sister called. So I just talked to my sister. So, um, I'm either going to just do this video straight on or splice in that intro. I'm probably just going to do this video again. So, <laughs> I uh, hadn't gotten to explain the plot. So, uh, welcome. I'm talking about a movie today. Movies and TV, so we do here. We will get, the, I will say, we will get that dual review tomorrow. First thing, I promise. Second, I get a free, like, 45 minutes tomorrow. We will do that review. Um, all right. And, okay. Hi, I'm good. The movie to you guys. We're going to raise a popcorn grant. Today, we are talking a movie. Um, an Indian, uh, pan-Indian action film, for that matter. And that is, which I saw today in theaters. And that is... Um, movies and TVs will you hear that film is KGF Chapter 2. Um, KGF Chapter 2 is a sequel to KGF uh, Chapter 1, um, which I have not seen, so this is going to be kind of, this is kind of an interesting watch. Uh, it's directed by Prasanth Neal, um, directed the film, and what's it about? Well, I couldn't keep up with some of it, so let me just try to tell you the basics. I can tell you what I can't tell you about is that about a freedom fighter... In around the 70s in India, his name is he go his name um, the name he's known for um, far and wide is Rocky. He's sort of a ruthless anti-hero who um, strikes uh, strikes uh, fear into the hearts of his enemies, joy and practically godlike worship in the eyes of his uh, the people who admire him, and um, is also a pretty smooth customer himself and very very charming. He is played by. A man who is credited in the film as Rocking Star Yash. Um, so Rocking Star Yash plays this character. And I gotta tell you, how cool is this guy? He has three different theme songs that play different points throughout the film. There are three of them. All as more badass than the next. Um, he's a cool customer. But he's going up against um, some enemies. Um, both within the government of India as well as um, on opposing sides. Will he save the day, or will he die trying, and will he um, honor the legacy of his late mother, who is a big part of his life, like every young man? Let the insane action and uh, loud and uh, excitable declarations of honor begin. This is an Indian movie, after all. Look, um, let's put it this way. KGF was a lot of fun. Uh, part two. Chapter two. Now, I will say this. It was kind of a mess. Um, I liked the... I, I'll say this. The action sequences are really awesome. And I think that goes without saying in these kinds of films. Not on Triple R level, because even though there is creativity, it doesn't have as much like stuff and creative stuff as Triple R. But this film does have one use of a gun titled Big Mama, where like it blows off so much steam that it is literally his heat coming from the barrel and he lights his cigarette with it. That's freaking cool. Also, uh, Rocking Star Yash is really cool. Like, this guy is a really cool, um, presence. And I really like his whole look. Slick back hair, sunglasses. He, he's a cool customer. I also really thought, uh, I didn't think there was as much, uh, humor in this, which was kind of a bummer because the other movies have some kind of, a really cool sense of humor. Um, but regardless, um, it was interesting. There's a kind of an interesting framing device about uh, where someone is telling someone else the story of KGF and the legend of Rocky, which is kind of fun, who might or may not have ties. We also have some intrigue. It's three hours long, It and I will say this, it's a little too long this time. Like, Triple R, it saying that Triple R is, um, is over two, 20 minutes longer than this, and I didn't feel it as much in that. This movie drags a lot, especially in the home stretch. It kind of reaches the point where a climax happens and there's 30 minutes of the movie left. It didn't really need those extra 30 minutes. It was just kind of a bunch of endings. But at the same time, I enjoyed KGF Chapter 2, even though plot-wise I didn't know much of anything that was going on. And I, I was informed by... I also didn't help that our audience was dead. It was me and two other people <laughs> this afternoon. So, I mean, that was kind of a bummer. But I was informed by those two kind of, you know, fellow cast members that... The reason I was so confused is that it actually is crucial to see part one before seeing this. So, probably should have seen part one, but there you go. Um, I guess I'll have to check it out. Because uh, I am invested enough that I, like, I'll watch part one just to know what I miss. Like, I, I, I'm, yeah. So anyway, but that being said, for just this on its own, um, you know what? It's a mess. There are things that don't work, but I'm still going to give it, you know, I'm going to give KGF Chapter 2 
uh, four to five stars. This is not um, one of the best ones. I say we're like gave Roddy Sham, and I also say this: it's not as silly as Roddy Sham, but it's it's still silly. Like, I, it's also one of those movies where it's kind of so loud. It like again, Triple R had moments of quiet and moments of characters just kind of conversing and little like dialogue. This movie. Every every bit of empty air is filled with loud sound, which is fine. I mean, I mean that's that goes the territory on some of the movies, but every line seems to be delivered kind of at the top of the lungs, and it's a little it gets to be a little much when the movie is that long, like because it's like it would be like if everything everywhere all at once had none of the quiet moments and it was just all go 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 go, and for like thirty minutes more. But that being said, I did enjoy it. So yeah, five out of five or four out of five stars rather for. Uh, KGF Chapter 2, and I'll definitely check out uh, Chapter 1 and uh, maybe something else to come. So, uh, yeah, that's it. We'll see you for the dual... R oh, wait. Damn it, Grant, don't forget. All right. Trailer Trash. Let's talk some Trailer Trash. We don't have a lot this time. Most of it we can go through. Memory. Uh, this is the new one with Liam Neeson. Uh, it's coming out in a couple weeks. So I'll definitely check it out. The Northman. Already got my ticket. We're going next Friday. Brahmastra Part 1. Shiva, which we've seen in every... Indian film since 83. I, it looks good. I can't get over that it kind of looks like Percy Jackson, but so there. Oh, and last one. Runway 34. This is another Indian film. I gotta tell you, this one I am convinced is a remake of Flight. I'll tell you this. Remember that movie Flight with um, the Robert Zemeckis film with Denzel Washington? I am almost certain this is a remake. Maybe if it's maybe not officially, but it has a lot of the same dialogue and plot points. Which is fine. I mean, if, if, if they're just inspired by them, they don't call it an official remake. That's fine. They do that. They've done that before. Like with like a Bang Bang, I believe was a, a remake of Night and Day, the Tom Cruise movie. But the thing is, is like they've done at least like three Death at a Funeral inspired uh, Indian films, which are some of them are pretty funny. But this one, like, really, this feels like it's Flight and maybe a little bit of Sully. It kind of it's about an alcoholic pilot who. The, a plane crash, it's crashes, but he and his passengers are fine, and they look into it, and they find out that he might have been under the influence of alcohol. It's an interesting, but again, that's flight. <laughs> it's the same plot, even if it's not the same exact movie, it, it's the same movie. Um, but yeah, it looks good. And then was there shawarma? Um, yes, there was. Um, first off, the entirety of the credits has this animation and this really, really big song. Um, and then... There is a scene midway through that uh, animation in the credit song that s could not set up a part three more than if someone moved a piece of paper and the words KGF chapter three were on it. Oh, wait, it was. That is actually the scene. It's literally someone is looking through a stack of papers and like, what is this? KGF chapter three. I'm not even kidding you. That is uh, just spo minor spoiler. Yes. Yeah, there's going to be a part three. So looking forward to that one i'll definitely see i'll see it and i'll see chapter one first all right and uh yeah that's it all right we will be back again for duel um coming up next week we have the bad guys um we have the unbearable weight of massive talent um the northman and the disney nature duck polar bear and uh yeah and that'll all be next time and until next time i'm grant the movie and tv guy i see it all and I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Um, I love a class of Smith. I love you thousand. Be kind to one another. If you like this video, uh, give it a like if you want to. Give it a subscribe if you want to. Give it the bell. I don't know what it does, what that's supposed to do. Or so I've been told. If you want to find me also reviews this and other fun stuff, you can check me out um, on Letterboxd.com at Raison Popcorn Grant. Some of you already have, but even if you haven't, take care of yourself. Take care of your mental health. It's incredibly important. And uh, I want to know down below, what did you think of KGF Chapter 2? Um, did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? Do you think my opinion is good? Do you think I'm full of shit? Comment below. Let me know. And um, and uh, until we meet again, we are all raised on popcorn. Make one with extra butter. Catch you guys next time. See ya.